Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news read by Jonas Yantan. The Lok Sabha yesterday passed Criminal Procedure Identification Bill 2022. The bill seeks to authorize for taking measurements of convicts and other persons for the purposes of identification and investigation in criminal matters and to preserve records. It provides for legal sanction for taking appropriate body measurements of persons who are required to give such measurements, which include finger impressions, palm print and footprint impressions, photographs, iris and retina scan, physical biological samples and their analysis, among others. It will make the investigation of crime more efficient and expeditious and will also help in increasing the conviction rate. The legislation also empowers the National Crime Records Bureau of India to collect, store and preserve the record of measurements and for sharing, dissemination, destruction and disposal of records. The bill provides for empowering police or prison officers to take measurements of any person who resists or refuses to give measurements. Nagaland government held a consultative meeting with tribal hohos and organizations yesterday at Rotodendron Hall, Jumukedima. According to DIPR report, Chief Minister Nipirio said the appeal made by all stakeholders for the abolishment of the Draconian Law Armed Forces Special Powers Act was finally heard by the government of India. He said the total abolition of AFSPA may take time, but a partial AFSPA abolishment is a test. Rio said, during this crucial period, if law and order cannot be controlled, AFSPA may be reinstated. He appealed to all the stakeholders to seriously ponder on how to maintain law and order in the state and urged for cooperation with the government to ensure that no untoward incidents occur. The chief minister, while asserting that a Naga solution is for all the Nagas, said, Nagas should harbour a sense of unity and oneness and not be selfish in their demands. Rio informed that once a cited report is submitted and a case is filled, filed, the contents of the report will be made known to the public. He also said a cited formed by the centre have also submitted their report. Chairman UDA T.R. Zeliang said that the partial lifting of OPSPA is an experimental phase with the end goal of completely removing OPSPA from the state. Zeliang appealed for joint responsibility and cooperation as the police would be handicapped without the people's support. The Eastern Naga Students' Federation, meanwhile, appealed for total justice to be delivered to all the victims of Oting incident and that the government of Nagaland should remind the centre in this regard. ENSF informed that its non-cooperation with armed forces will continue until justice is delivered. Naga People's Front NPF has appealed the Nagaland government to take up the matter of Nagaland In-Service Doctor Association NITA's demand on enhancement of superannuation age of doctors urgently so as not to allow the patients to suffer the consequences. Extending support to NIDA, NPF President Dr. Shorazel Leza Chu said that it finds justification on the part of the association that the state government should look into the matter in its right perspective. Leza Chu cautioned that the government has only 12 more days to resolve the matter until NIDA's resort to mass casual leave from April 18th. He therefore questioned the government as to why it cannot resolve the matter in time if the government is really actively considering the matter. He also stated that if the government have some genuine difficulty to meet the demand, then it expressed hope that the doctors will understand it if it is communicated in a proper manner. Advisor for Information and Public Relations and Village Guards, S. Kyo Shu Yemkyong said a society can be developed only through a peaceful atmosphere and unity. He said this during the Dikir Tribe Recognition Day held at the public ground Kyo Sam town on April 2nd. The advisor ex- attended the celebration program, a special guest, in place of Chief Minister Nipirio, who could not attend the program due to bad weather conditions. Sharing about the long struggle for Dikir Tribe Recognition and Shamato district upgradation, Kyushu said the aspiration of the people was fulfilled after 40 years of struggle through unity and mutual agreement between the two tribes of Dike and Yimkyong. The advisor urged the people to maintain a peaceful atmosphere and unity to develop a good relationship with neighbouring tribes to progress.
That's all we have in this morning bulletin. Have a good day.